What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Tango here and welcome back to some more FIFA. Now, I'm going to be starting a series called Legends and this is where I will find a legend that's played in the past and I will uh, make their stats, make them look similar and see how they play on FIFA 14. So today we're going to be doing uh, Tom Finney and as you saw at the start he was a PNE and England legend. He played his whole career at PNE and um, yeah, even though he had what was then the, um, the highest bid for a player which was 10,000 which is absolutely crazy. 10,000 for a player, and that was the um, world record bid, and he actually rejected that. The, uh, um, I think it was it was some Italian club that put it in. I can't actually remember the name, or I can't like actually pronounce the name. It was like Palmero or something. Um, but anyway, into some of his in-game stats here. So he has 88 acceleration, um, 89 sprint speed, 97 agility, 92 balance, 90 reactions, and 87 jumping, which is um, slightly unusual. Some of you may, uh, guys may like question that because he had um, he was only five foot five, but it's actually true. If not, um, he might have had more or uh, higher stats in jumping because what his brother used to do, his brother used to hang some string open with a ball on it, and he used to have to head the ball out of the string. And uh, once he did that, he'd, they'd uh, hire it. So he could actually outjump a six foot, a, a six foot player. And he also had 93 um, vision, 90 ball control, 84 uh, crossing, 92 curve, um, 90 dribbling, 87 finishing, uh, an 85 short pass for a winger is very good, especially with the crossing as well and the vision. Um, shot power is 83. Some uh, okay long shots as well at 84, and yeah, that's about it. It's a weak foot is uh, four star into some in-game um, in-game clips here, and anything you launched at him, he would control. His ball control was absolutely superb, and his agility along with his dribbling, you know, he could just like run from one end of the pitch to the other, which was uh, very handy because he was always drifting off to the right side and I don't know why but I wanted him to be at the left side so I could cut in and shoot and he would just be on the right side to cross it in instead and I did play him at the left wing um, as well but you'll see in like loads of clips he'll pick it up in his own half and then dribble it to one end of the pitch beating loads of plays in the process and that's very good along with his um, along with his pace as well now then um, his shooting isn't too good um, he has, uh, I think, well, it was, it was decent shooting, you know, he was in the uh, low 80s for his shooting, but I only had a few shots with him because of his positioning as well. His crossing is very good, um, you'll see a few crosses, and they'll, if, if, I mean, this is an unlucky one, he should have really got to the, got to that, but his crosses are always very accurate. He gets a nice finesse shot, that, that was the only good um, part of his shooting, was the finesse shots along with that curve, you know, it really does uh, help. His, uh, he has a nice shot here, and it hits the uh, post, unfortunately, and we couldn't finish that off. But now in the 90th minute, he uh, whips, or he will do, he whips in across there, and we actually get the header. It's just another example of his um, good crossing. And as you can see, look how small he is compared to the other players. Only 5'5". Five five. I mean, when he was 14, he stood 4'9", uh, and he was underestimated by uh, all the other players. But um, anyway, let's jump into the final review of him. And, um, yeah, here we go. So, as you can see, his pros, accurate crosses, excellent ball control and dribbling, good passing, decent pace and good finesse shots. And his cons, the positioning, bad, he's bad in the air. He didn't win me one header despite of that um, 87 jump in. His five foot, uh, just because he was 5'5", five five, he was just too small. And he was also very weak, easily shoved off the ball. Now, if you like these sort of videos, then... Um, Leave a like and subscribe if you're not. Yeah, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.